Welcome Aquarius and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always time stamps in the description box for those of you that want to skip ahead. Know that time is fluid, which means this can resonate for you, past, present, or future. If it does not resonate, and even if it does, you should check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs for additional messages and guidance. This is for the collective, please. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is going on here, please, for the collective? Also, if you guys are interested in booking a private reading with me, my birthday month is August, so for the entire month of August, I am offering 20% off of all personal readings. There's a link to my Etsy shop in the description box below. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Jennifer and Samantha are both like names really heavily on my mind right now, so if some of those could resonate. Uh, King of Wands under the deck. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, so the Knight of Cups and the Death card, the Scorpio energy. Okay. Let's see, we also have here the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Libra energy with the Justice card. I mean, it could be any sign that you're actually dealing with, but. That is pretty prominently coming through. This does feel to me like your person is thinking about coming towards you and beginning to express how they really feel about you. I think that for some of you, this could be a situation where maybe it was very kind of intense, very passionate, but you've been kind of waiting around for this person to like open up to you emotionally. I don't know if for some of you, I feel like you might have been there for them or supported this person through some kind of difficult time. Um, I don't know if this is in the past or something maybe recent for some of you with that Queen of Cups energy. But it's like this person has always had feelings for you, but it's like this really just confirms for them that this is something really special. It's the fact that you were there for them, that you have didn't turn your back, that you didn't give up on them. What do you need to know about this situation? Coffin. Endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, and transition. So for some of you, somebody is making some kind of significant change, but that may actually be what's opening the door for some kind of new beginning between you and them. Um, I feel like uh, there might be somebody who is kind of stuck on them, but I don't think, or maybe on you, and but I don't think that matters because there's a lot of like really strong feelings between you and this person. Like for some of you, this person may have looked at you as a, as a friend or someone they were kind of afraid to take that next step with. But like I said, it's something about like you being there for them, you supporting them, and it's like though they always kind of knew this about you it's like that's really where they're like you know what i can't keep holding back addictions codependent obsession possession controlling has a block or a restraint we have love unconditional love self-love oneness passion affection and attraction okay not today not dealing hurt avoiding a conversation or a person or a call boundaries and still angry someone's unhappy in a situation we have boat receiving what you need progression arriving on moving closure issues and then not enough frustrated in a relationship lack of confidence self-sabotage fear ego issues and jealousy i think either your side or theirs like i can't really quite place whose it is just yet i feel like on someone's someone's situation somebody doesn't want to give up on another person but they may have already moved away from someone who's trying to get them back this could be your ex could be their ex or even both but somebody does not want to take no for an answer they don't want to give up they still want this they're still like obsessed over a person but i think you and this person are really fixated on each other and they're thinking about new like i'm finally free to be with you but somebody might be trying to kind of pull them back in all right so we have your energy their energy what's between you the obstacle or challenge or main one thoughts feelings intentions and actions towards you if any um, with the Queen of Cups in your energy, I feel like, like I said, male or female, there's this very like loving, nurturing, compassionate, like very healing energy. Um, the Queen of Cups is somebody who really does like put you at ease, settle you, calm you, you know, support you, like someone who will be there for you, someone you can rely on in a very emotional way. Come about the Queen of Cups? What is this? Aries energy.
this person may have had some kind of risk or something happen. I mean, it could be that maybe they lost someone close to them and you were there for them to support them. Some of them could have like lost an investment or a business of some sort or like some, something like that. They can't be like some kind of loss in money, like a, a difficult time, but you were there for them. Um, there might have been something with children as well and you were supportive. You were there for them. What, what was this? Yeah, you helped keep them strong. You told them not to give up. Like you, you listened. Whatever they were dealing with, struggling with, going through. You were motivating them, supporting them, comforting them making them feel stronger, more confident, helping them to heal. Leo, Aries, very strongly there. And their energy with the Ace of Pentacles, and now what they're really thinking is about a new beginning, about building, creating something. What are they thinking about? The High Priestess in the reverse, some kind of secret, something they've kept in the dark. And a way to heal that. Pisces, Cancer, Sagittarius energy. So a, a way to heal this situation. Jennifer and Samantha. I don't again, I don't know if that's relevant to you in some way, but those names are really coming through to me. Um, I mean it could be a J name or an S name, but <laughs> wanted to heal a situation. But that means some kind of secret comes to light. The, what's between you and this person with the justice card again it's like this is a very fair and very balanced connection like again like you and this person really do like uplift and like support each other but the obstacle being three of wands makes me feel like there is some kind of distance between you and this person like there's been like a path or something that you have to take to get to each other what is the obstacle here this is Libra if I didn't say it's about travel like not being able to be together emotionally, maybe even rejecting someone's offer. Now, I don't know if it, maybe they rejected your offer in the past or if they're having to reject someone that's coming towards them with love in order to pursue you. Like they may feel guilty about that. Like saying, oh, no, I want to be with this person. Like, it's, you know, no hard, I'm not trying to hurt you, but like I want to I be with my person. I'm in love with this person. I want to be with this person. I don't want to make things work. I want to be with this person. My person. They were there for me when you weren't. Their thoughts about you all with the Two of Cups, it does show like friendship and like love. Again, like you're there for them. You understand them. And they want to be clear about that. What are their thoughts? You protected them. They might feel like you're a little bit guarded with them because there hasn't been a lot of movement or there something was paused. Again, maybe for some of you, they might even feel guilt like maybe they rejected you or didn't say something, speak up in the past. Maybe they were guarded against you or even had some kind of blockage here. Gemini, Virgo, energy. What do they feel? Why is the Nine of Wands here? Why is the Nine of Wands here? Nine of Wands. That you're a bit guarded with them now because they may have held back from you. What do they feel? They they don't know how to approach you. They feel like this could be something really successful. They want to commit to the situation with you. They have to make a choice and they, they know that maybe you are hesitant or like you're not wanting to rush things. That you're very careful and protective of yourself here. Because there might have been a tower between you in the past. There was some pain here. The intentions being Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords. <laughs> like, this can be like a very restless energy. Like, it can be someone who is like up late at night, maybe having trouble sleeping, really in their head about a lot of things. But I see a woman here that's like laying here, like trying to rest, recuperate. Like, she's at risk. They may want to like protect you in some way or make you, or reassure you in some way. It's not going to happen again. Like, I'm choosing you. I'm sure of what I want at this time. You have to believe me. The Empress, Taurus, Libra energy. They want that you're their person. And they recognize that. And they want to offer you something serious. Ace of Pentacles. This is about a new beginning. Following their heart. Libra, Taurus. What actions can you expect from this person? We have the Eight of Pentacles. This is about working on something. 
king of wands. We have him here twice. They're going to communicate to you their, their excitement, their passion for you. They know that you're guarded, but they want to try to appeal to you in a very emotional way, saying something has ended, something has changed. This person's trying to work it out, with, but I don't want to. Like, I'm just focused on you. You were the one person that was there for me. You supported me. Like, I have confidence in this situation. I've ended something. I, I want to make a change. I want to follow my heart here. I don't want to hold back anymore. I want things to change. I want a transformation. No to the past. There's some kind of confirmation here for you. It's about love. They've made some kind of change. I mean, it's up to you if you want to pursue it or not. But that's what I have for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Thank you for those of you that do generously send in donations and super chats. It is greatly appreciated. As always, I wish you strength and I wish you many blessings. Bye-bye.